Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 151. Welcome. Okay, so I just have one finished object done today, but I do have several works in progress, as usual. <laughs> okay, so for my first finished object today, uh, and only one, <laughs> is the Frontline Bear. I finished it. I showed it to you last week, and I had started it, and so now I've finished it. Uh, it is a pattern by, I believe the website is called Yarn It Darn It, and I will link it in the description box below where you can find that pattern. Uh, it's a free pattern. And uh, I really like the way the pattern was written up. Um, the the legs uh, are done. Well, you do the, the legs separately, join them together, and then continue on to do the body. And the head is all one piece then. And so the only thing he had to sew on was the arms and the ears and his little face. So I think that's that's cool. My kind of prop pattern. <laughs> um, oh, and I, he does have a little face. See? <laughs> So, anyway, I think he turned out really cute, and he's all done. <laughs> okay, so that is the only finished object I have, but of course I do have lots of works in progresses. So, uh, going on to the works in progress, I'm still working on the uh, Lost in Time shawl. This is a crochet along uh, by, um, that is being hosted by Kim the Crafty Nomad and Christy, Crochet Creations by Christy. Um, the the crochet along is called what time is lit shot the, the what time is lit i think uh crochet along and so we're doing the lost in time shawl this is a free pattern by joanna lindahl and i will link it below where you can get the pattern but anyway i'm doing mine in um the lime brand mandala in the colorway of gnome and so here is my progress on it so far so I think I'm uh, into I'm, I'm into like the second or third repeat, uh, third repeat I guess. Anyway, uh, and you see I'm now getting into the uh, purple. So this is my first cake so far. Uh, I still have quite a bit left. Um, whoop! Let me pull some out here without pulling out my stitches. <laughs> As you can see, there's quite a bit still in the cake. I'm getting into the violet and then I'll get into the purple and then some green will be next. See? So anyway, um, this is, I'm, I'm putting it, I'm keeping it <laughs> in the use what you got yarn keeper that I, pattern that I designed. Uh, it's real handy. It, it holds um, a lime brand mandala cake really well. Uh, I'm doing it in a this shawl in a four millimeter hook, which I believe is uh, is that a G? I think because it's a three weight yarn. So anyway, that is my progress on this uh, shawl. And if you want to get in on the crochet along, it is still um, plenty of time to get in because the crochet along lasts until June, so next month. So anyway. Um, I'm having a good time. I like the texture and thing that of the shawl that's coming out. Uh, I had never made this pattern before, so um, I was uh, happy to try it out and see how I liked it, and I do like it. <laughs> okay, so the next works in progress, since this is now May, today is May the 7th, um, and um, I am starting my, uh, making my quota of the three uh, preemie hats to do for each month for the Halloween hat drive that I uh, participate in or donate to each year for the hospital and the hospital their NICU department for their preemies and so this month uh, starting out with number one I am doing uh, this pattern uh, I just have the pieces um, this is going to be a tiger hat um, actually the pattern the pattern is um, for like a doll or the character hats for a stuffed doll pattern and because I was looking for preemie hats and I was thinking oh well well some preemies are really small and most of my pre my preemie hats have kind of been on the larger side so I wanted to make a few that were you know really small so this is going that's where so I thought well doll hats like maybe the American dolls or something you know like that I would look and see if I could find patterns that were character hats in that and I found this pattern and I will link it below it is let's see did I write it down no I didn't write it down so <laughs> but I will link it in the description box below they had uh, it was a, like a couple of bear patterns I think bear hats and a um, 
tiger, this would be a tiger, and um, trying to think what the other one was. Oh, a puppy dog, I think. Anyway, cute. And uh, anyway, it's going to be a good size, I think, for a preemie. So I do have all the pieces. I've got the beanie done, and this is a baby um, baby yarn. Um, I don't have it with me. It's in there. <laughs> um, that I got off clearance last year uh, at Hobby Lobby, the one of the big, the big Hobby Lobby clearance, and so it is a number three weight baby yarn. I know the colorway is called Tangerine, but I can't remember. Um, it's it's like a yarn bee, I think. Anyway, see, I've got the ears. I got both ears done. I just don't have the pieces uh, put together. I do have eyes. I made a uh, white. They had, I think they had googly eyes and so I, I decided to do the white discs and then I just embroidered the black, uh, filled in the black and that will be for the eyes. I've got both those done and the, um, the little snout I and mean, that's the little cheek and the nose is like stitched on in the middle but anyway it's coming along uh, really well like I said I've got everything done oh and then once I get it done then I have to uh, just like top stitch some um, stripes here and there for to make it look more like a tiger so uh, it's an interesting pattern uh, I hadn't made a tiger hat I've made tiger hats but not where the the stripes are not built into the pattern, but you have to put them on. And uh, so I thought it would be interesting to try the pattern out. And um, so far, I'm not having any problems with it. But like I said, it's actually for a doll. And I believe she has the pattern because it's not like a doll that you purchase. It's, it's um crocheted doll and so she has the patterns for the dolls as well and this is like little out uh, animal outfits for the dolls anyway um, um, sorry I didn't write down the name of it name of the pattern I think it's like Magoo something but I will put it in in the description box below so okay on to uh, works in progress number three it is the baby blanket that I was that I've been working on um, I told you bef uh, last week I think that I had this really lightweight soft really uh, really light like a light three maybe or a heavy number two weight yarn had two cakes of this and I just wanted to do something with it um, and so I just started stitching along, and, and um, this is the pattern that I came up with. And so that's what I'm working on. So it's not a written pattern. I mean, I started writing it a little bit because some people had asked me, or I had offered last week to do a tutorial, a uh, short tutorial, because it's a lot of repeats. So it's just to get you started, uh, the center, and then coming out to get you started, and the rest is repeating. So anyway... I will be doing a tutorial on that uh, probably I will probably I think I'll probably film it tomorrow as far as I know but anyway I'm in the second cake of this and I really like the pattern it's one of those you can just grab it while you're sitting there watching something um, you know on, on TV or video or whatever and just stitch away <laughs> without have to think without really thinking about it too much so um, I'm really liking this, and if you use a real lightweight pattern, lightweight yarn, uh, it's very nice and drapey. So um, anyway, so if you're interested in that, this pattern, see how it repeats. Um, stay tuned, and I will have a um, tutorial probably um, tomorrow. I'll try to get it done and posted tomorrow or Saturday anyway. So um, so it's coming. <laughs> Okay, so that is works in progress number three. Um, I'm not in a big hurry to do that. I mean, I just kind of, like I said, I grab it and, and work on it a little bit while I'm, uh, that's that's my a good couch project. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, and then works in progress number four and five, uh, I can't show you on here. One of them is my Whip Wall Wednesday project. I, I put that video out yesterday uh, I want to try to save that project for that series of videos that I'm doing uh, about that and talking about it and so if you want to see that project uh, check out my video that came out yesterday which is called whip wall Wednesday number seven and I will link a, a link in the description box below um, where you can get go to it and, and see the video um, but please go check it out I think you you'll uh, enjoy the project. I'm enjoying the project, putting it together and kind of designing it sort of as I go. It's not my 
pattern exactly. I'm using a different pattern, but then the way I'm putting it together, I think, uh, will be a little bit different. But anyway, check that video out. <laughs> okay, and then uh, I'm also working on a summer banner uh, wall hanging or, yeah, pattern like the one I did for spring, that one. And I've got the pattern designed and ready. I'm just now working, actually working the pattern because it's got charts uh, to have a project to be able to show um, and so I'm working on that but I'll save it until I get finished with it and then I'll reveal the whole thing and then the pattern will be available on my Etsy shop okay so uh, that is it um, I think yeah <laughs> so uh upcoming uh there is lots of stuff upcoming let's see um the rudolph the red nose reindeer crochet set that i'm doing um let me see i've got the box here um since it's a new month i'm on to the next character which will be um all right there <laughs> mrs claus uh, this is a kit that I got from Amazon. Um, I have seen it in Joann's, I believe, as well, and different, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen it at Hobby Lobby, but I know I saw it at Joann's, but you can get it online at a good price. I think it's a good price um, from Amazon. I think I saw it for $14.95, which is pretty good. Um, I think maybe in the Joann's I saw it for $20 or $25, maybe. But, but if you, of course, if you have a coupon you know you can get it cheaper but anyway it's a kit the yarn comes there's the yarn comes for you to make Santa and Rudolph and then but there's a pattern book in there that's got 12 uh, characters it's got all of these <laughs> and then it's got all of those <laughs> and this of course is from the night I think it's 1965 when this cartoon came out but they play it all you know every year at Christmas um, it's one of my childhood favorites and so um, I'm making since there's 12 characters I'm making one each month through the year and I'll have the whole set in at the end of the year so like I said this month I'm just going through the pattern book in the order that the patterns are laid out and so mrs claus right there <laughs> will be coming up next so i'll be starting her soon because it's a new month okay so also upcoming is the stash buster 2020 crochet along that i've been participating each month um ella of no catchy name is uh hosting it this month and i will link the video where she talks about the project uh in the description box below so check that out uh, i think it's going to be a fun project this this month um, and of course you can enter as many times as you want um, and then you just post pictures I believe on her Facebook group she'll have an album where you post pictures of your finished pro projects yeah. as many as you want to do for this month and then um, she ha will have a drawing for a winner of like a gift card or something uh, but it's just fun to do and it like I said it's a stash buster 2020 crochet along so you're supposed to be using stuff from your stash and so for this month she is going to do a um she's doing where you use some of your pattern books that you have in your stash or either books physical books or or online patterns that you've downloaded and saved onto your computer and then you've got you know thousands of patterns but you have you don't use them you just collect new ones and so she is saying do so your stash but stash busting yarn but then you're also gonna stash bust patterns and so I've been looking in some of my pattern books and uh, because I've got lots <laughs> and I've even got magazines that I've gotten through the years and I've kept the crochet magazines and I have th places marked um, like this with little post-its of all these patterns now this is afghan so since it's only going to last a month this this challenge i'm going to pick out a smaller project but i can show you one right here i was looking at last night last night or night before i'm not sure <laughs> but it is in this book it's called crochet for caring and sharing and it's got some really nice uh projects in here i will link a uh put a link below where if I can find this on Amazon if it's still available I'll put a link below where you can get it but anyway 
I picked out this it's a baby cardigan and I just thought it was cute I've looked at it for a long time uh, you know I've had it marked in my book and I just haven't done it but I'll try to hold the picture up there so you can see it right there that cardigan I thought it was really pretty and I have some pink um, yarn that I got in a mystery bag uh, and it is a light weight it's probably like softy baby like for Bernat I think that's what it is but anyway uh, I think I'm going to use that and make that little baby cardigan I think it's really cute and um, I might I have a little bit of um, uh, somewhere in there I think I have a little bit of the pipsqueak yarn in white and I may edge that collar right there in that little pipsqueak yarn because it's really super soft I might do that I'm not sure but anyway I'm thinking that's what I'm one of the projects that I'm going to make because I've had it bookmarked in this book for a long time and I have never made it so I think that will be one of my projects to, to take part in that crochet along and last week I showed you the pattern the book that I have that's got had an ostrich in it and I said that I was wanting to make that little ostrich and so uh, I may include that in as an entry as well uh, we'll just see how much I get done so uh, stay tuned for that <laughs> and then also uh, the uh, happy scrappy yarn challenge I believe the challenge for April has come out today I think and, and I think from what I was reading on the Facebook group I think it is going to be um, jewelry yeah jewelry I think and I'm thinking I don't know for sure but this is the one I, this is what I may do I'm not sure but I might do it this comes from this book it's 150 weekend projects and I've had this for a long time as well and I will try to find it and put a link to where you can get it also below Anyway, in this book, it has, ugh, it has, um, let me hide the pattern there, that brooch, it's like a daisy brooch, and I think that's really uh, pretty, I think it's cute, it's got a, you put a decorative button right in the middle of it, and um, it is made with, uh, let me see, Oh, uh, cotton thread, like, you know, you make doilies out of, and I've got lots of that. Uh, yep, yeah, down here in a big basket, i got lots of it. So I may do that because I, I'm not a jewelry person very much, except for my wedding ring <laughs> and watch. <laughs> but I do occasionally will wear a brooch or something like uh, on a blazer or something. Sometimes I'll do that. I've got one that I made that had a poinsettia that I use at Christmas time occasionally, a little pin. Uh, oh, and then a, a sweet viewer made me a crochet wreath that I also wore at Christmas time. So anyway, I'm thinking I might make that daisy brooch um, is a jewelry item. So that's I'm thinking about that. Anyway, what else is upcoming? Um, the tutorial, Mrs. Claus, the two crochet alongs, and the Whip Wall Wednesday video number seven that I made yesterday. Is that number seven, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, please check those videos out, um, or well, the videos out, and then be watching uh, for my pro the progress on those projects that I'm going to be participating in those crochet alongs, and you can watch my progress on them once I start them. <laughs> So I think that's all for this week or for this episode. Uh, thanks guys for my new subscribers and thank you for my subscribers that have um, been with me from the beginning. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed then please consider doing so. I love to make all kinds of projects, uh, different types of projects. They're all usually crochet, but different things. The amigurumis, blankets, shawls, you know, I mean just, everything so uh, I try to have a big variety so please uh, subscribe and come along and watch my progress on my projects and also I do have tutorials that I put out from time to time so okay so uh, I think that's gonna be it everybody have a oh I was gonna say happy anniversary uh, to my husband <laughs> uh, this is Thursday Saturday will be our um, wedding anniversary we've been we have been married for 33 years and um, I do it all again <laughs>
<laughs> uh, but I do want to tell him happy anniversary and uh, happy Mother's Day. This Sunday is Mother's Day here in the States, so happy Mother's Day to all those that are mothers in um, every way, <laughs> uh, even mothers to fur babies. <laughs> so everybody have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.